violence. Well, guys, apparently some senators in America have put in a resolution to have Putin investigated for war crimes and crimes against humanity. This I've got no problem with, but can it also not be expanded to every government leader and their minions in relation to the last two years? Me, personally, I'm all for calling out Putin and any other politician, to be honest, because I don't like or trust any of them, but if we're going to call out one for his actions, then surely we can have them all by the balls for what they've done over the past two years. Now yes, war is terrible and whatever is going on over there ain't good for civilians and all of that, but how many people have we lost in the past two years thanks to government policies that this situation has conveniently kicked to the back of people's minds? Plus, let's be fucking real here, the same people telling you to stand up for Ukraine's freedom and pretending to care about people over there are the same people who just four or five weeks ago demanded the unjab be outcast from society. Yes, the mainstream media and Twitter tosspots promoting this and that are some of the most authoritarian lunatics this world has ever shat out, while our government who talk about freedom, ban protests, lock people in their homes and sack healthcare staff a year after calling them all heroes, plus you've got everything else they've literally done, including the nonsense that they were pushing for over a year, which has been conveniently dropped now like a fart in the bloody wind. So yeah, if you want to start doing people for war crimes and crimes against humanity and all of this shit, then maybe you should not just be looking at Putin and everyone like that. Maybe you should be looking at our government, governments in Canada, America and everywhere else. Plus, we've got the good old war criminal Tony the Tosspot Blair who's got what, like a million deaths on his head? What about that little Tosspot there? There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>